this is 1, 2, dibromo, 1, 2, dichloroethane. So as what you can see, this molecule has staggered configuration. So we can see hydrogen atom at the top, carbon here, and this next carbon, and this hydrogen at the bottom. These four atoms actually on the same plane. So you can see hydrogen, carbon, carbon, hydrogen on the same plane. However, chlorine atom, this bromine atom out of plane, this bromine atom and this chlorine atom at the back. So now we want to find out the symmetric elements operation for this molecule. So for example, hydrogen at the top and hydrogen at the bottom opposite each other. So it means that we can rotate 180 degree through the C2 axis. So where is the C2 axis? So we look this molecule from the front or side view. So to rotate 180 degree, so we imagine that the C2 exists passing through the carbon-carbon bond here. So the exists passing through this bond, so we can rotate the hydrogen from the top and we'll go down here. Alright, we try to rotate. So you just imagine this is the position of the C2 axis. So we want to rotate this hydrogen will be here and at the same time we want to make sure that this chlorine atom and this bromine atom after the rotation should be here. Same configuration. Alright, so we try to rotate now. We look at all atoms, must be same configuration. So this hydrogen rotate we get the same configuration for the hydrogen atoms. However, for the chlorine and bromine, different position as before. So not the same configuration. So it means that this molecule has no C2 exists. Alright, so we try to find out another symmetric element operation which is reflection plane. So we try to put the plane cutting through here. So we can see that this bromine atom reflect through this plane will be reflect at the back. So different configuration as before. And then we try to put the plane like this cutting through the carbon atom and as what we can see this bromine and chlorine atom reflect through this plane will be down here. So different configuration. And then we try to imagine the plane cutting through in the middle here between carbon-carbon. As what we can see also, after reflection through this plane, we don't get the same configuration. So it means that this molecule also has no plane for reflection. Alright, so now we want to find out the center of symmetry. So we just imagine the center should be here between the carbon-carbon bond and we inverse chlorine at the back and this chlorine here through this center. Yes, we get the same configuration inverse through this center and we try to inverse hydrogen at the top and hydrogen at the bottom. So through this center we get the same configuration and finally we inverse this bromine atom through this center 
with this bromine atom at the back. So we get the same configuration. So it means that this molecule has center of symmetry. So this molecule has identity C1 of course, rotation 360 degree and the last one center of symmetry which is equivalent with the S2 symmetry element separation. So point group for this molecule must be low symmetry point group and this is the point group for this molecule because only has center of symmetry instead of identity and C1 rotation exists.